The decision in Group A is upon us and it is a rematch of earlier this tournament as we have Thunder versus Shao KK. That was the match in the first round and Thunder was able to win that 2-0 and zero with Archmage Mountain King against Farseer TC. And let's see if this happens. Uh, Thunder had a rough winner bracket final against Fly. But Shao KK also had a rough lower bracket against Sini. He eventually won that. So... Is he having the momentum? Can he get the revenge in the lower bracket final for the second place after Fly in this group? I think this is probably the max for all of them. They had the strongest player of the entire round of 32 in their group. So I think that is uh, the max they could get out of this group. Cool for KK and Thunder that they placed above Sini. Pretty big success for them. We have a level 2 Greedy Creep by Thunder with a Potion of Invul, not bad, and he was playing pretty aggressively with his Archmage. I wonder if he's doing the same here. Replenishment Potion for the fast here, a little bit of harass, but clearly the better hero is on the side of Shao Keke, who's going into Headhunters. Farseer Headhunter it is with attack. So gotta be a little careful. This also means that if there's no defend, uh, he should be able to kill these footmen quite easy. But he's continuing to steal. Okay, that's pretty much the same he played two days ago, right? Trying to race up to level three, then push into the base. Very aggressive. Uh, not ultra aggressive like a fortitude would with level one or something. But this is level three. Fairly easy. He's dodging the Farseer. He's ignoring the Headhunters. Did he creep at the same time? Yeah, with Militia. That's a sick creep route, actually. Does take some more time. Farseer does have no Chain Lightning, so it's really hard to steal something here. Gloves of Haste for more. And this is... This is a good creep route, but this is just bad mana management. Because he doesn't have a second water elemental at the moment. He's also a little late, so what do you do with your level 3 Archmage now? He's still trying to poke into the base. Boom. Nothing he can do. No footman reinforcements without defend, I think. So just creeping more? It's a little weird, a little indecisive by Thunder, I think. Dressed to receive merch from your shop, love it. Thank you very much for supporting us, man. Or lady. Or in between. Or whatever. A player's forces are under attack. Solid opening for Shao KK, I think. If he's not losing too much, I think Thunder is hopping around to get the tier 2 building, which has started now, and he does find a good opening since Shao KK is busy, busy on the other side. He was waiting for the defense, he got the defense now. One water elemental, second water elemental will follow in around 10 seconds. And he's split pushing. Little damage on the Lodge, lots of damage on the Burrow, so he's draining resources while doing a lot of damage. Oh boy, level 3 for the Farseer now. He's kind of stuck there next to his shop. He can go for Potion, so it's not the biggest deal. But I think Thunder. I criticize him a little, but he did the right assessment for now. Has to move away with the Archmage. If the Footmen are all blocked, that's a bit of a yikes. I think they are. It's three of them. He kills a couple of peons, not safe into the burrows, which is a little sloppy. Forces are under, is under siege. Whoa! Whoa! Ah. 
Okay, guys. This is not the road we want to take. Thank you. Oh, man. He continues to do some damage. Gotta be careful, but it's not Stomp. Shaman are delayed quite a bit. Beastery is coming as well. What's... How is the pendulum swing back? I don't think he has the biggest timings coming up. Mass priests are coming. Mountain King is out. It is chain lightning level one. So what's really the chance of getting something done here? Archmage is also not about to die really because he has the big invul. And oh, he's just going for surround. There is a TP. There is a big heal potion. I'm not sure if that's the right call. Lightning shield and the wolf. Excellent play by KK. That's the potion. He's breaking free. Oh, ho, 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 thunder! Archmage dies to... What did he die to? The creeps or something? Horrible game and a horrible day for thunder. Uh, and yeah, I, I did not think he would donate everything away. KK winning the third game in a row. Okay, what just happened? I was a little distracted by chat because there was some bullshit going around. Um... Archmage constantly hurt. He had that invul. Did you just send him into the creeps? Didn't check the inventory, obviously, because there was a lightning shield and a greater healing. So you really, really don't want to surround that hero. Inventory matters, guys. Yeah, and Thunder, after a really good day one. That's not his day. Maybe Fly broke him a little with the game on Echo Isles. And KK, maybe with momentum talking about this for half a year now if you get momentum on a day you can play twice as good as on a previous day and i think uh, game by game kk is getting better and he gets a couple of gifts by his opponents as well <laughs> Okay, how do you turn this ship around, Thunder? You need to have an excellent idea of what to do. I think even though you canceled the launch first, it was still looked like you were missing some timings, wasn't the greatest execution. If he hits level 3 with the Arachnithids and then moves into the base, kills a burrow, that prevents the TC. And that would be great, but that wasn't the case. Wasn't the case at all. So match points for KK. Round of eight points or playoff points for KK. And just a solid performance so far. Game two is Echo Isles. And I wonder if Thunder is approaching the game uh, just like he did against Fly or if he's moving away from that expansion. In general, I think uh, the early game was just horrible by Thunder. Losing a footman, losing the Shadow Priest early, traded for a TP. He got a creep stolen. This cannot happen. For KK, it's again a faster headhunter build. Not the ultra fast build that Fly played, but still pretty solid. Yeah, it's way earlier. So later tech, earlier headhunters. What's up with the rally points? Uh, you see them in the Netty's Observer tool. This is not something you see y usually.
Uh, are they going for the Shadow Priest somehow? Doesn't look like it. Try to. Militia time is almost over. Shadow Priest goes to Thunder. Again. Not bad against Wolves. That is the right choice. He's sacrificing this Militia for it. So first blood goes to the Creeps. The first blood on the entire map goes to the Creeps. But this time, this entire camp should go to the Korean. Or... Yeah, okay, that's already a little better if he keeps the Shadow Priest safe. And with this spell, that should be. Uh, costs 75 mana. He has 2.8 of them or something. And Williams, 20 month resub. Much love for helping keep the scene alive and showcasing all of these great tournaments and games. Thank you very much. I saw you streaming uh, a little bit yourself, mister. Good luck with that. Saw you in the Art of Warcraft compilations. Ha! So Shadow Priest still alive. This is, as I said, an, not an excellent opening for Thunder, but definitely okay, better. He's even tacking faster, which is kind of normal when your opponent goes faster. Your headhunters, but still, it's a good accomplishment. But he keeps the Archmage from creeping, and that's the biggest accomplishment that Chao KK has with the Brilliant Zora not working. How long can he keep this up? This is also, of course, not only bad for the Archmage because he can't summon water elementals, also bad for the Shadow Priest who doesn't recover mana. So, few dispel. Little dispel, little, I don't know. Less dispel. Can't get the last hit here, so that's finally level two. But it's not a super rapid Archmage, and if his plan was again a level 3 push, then I think you can forget about that. Also issue, no defense. Plus he's about to lose two units. Not yet. Oh, block by KK is good. Not only his grunt blocks are good, look at this! Pretty swag. And now Thunder has not much to work with. Going rifles this game. To push an expansion across the map. Interesting approach. MK it is again. Rifle caster this time. After mass casters didn't really work. Of course, a very different game compared to uh, Fly vs. Thunder. Close to level 2 on the fast year now. Saves this headhunter. He's mixing in one grunt as well. One, He's going grunts now, right? Huh. Against rifles, that's a decent idea. Who's gonna get the last hit? Super important! Fireball vs. Lightning Ball. Fireball is not going to get it here. Item goes to Shao KK as well. And there's Chain Lightning now. Thunder got to be careful. He was a little greedy. He wanted that Hat Hunter. And he gets it. So taking risks and being rewarded for it. While taking more damage on Grunts and Hat Hunters. Damage output, of course, not too great anymore. Two subbers coming in. Thank you very much, Dave Boy, for 32 months. And my Alkaline for 41 months. It's so cool that we have so many long-time supporters. That is really crazy. <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. Greater Shaman, TC second. Feels like you forgot about that during the fight, maybe? Thunder's army, it's far 
far away from three. He has to prioritize the Mountain King now. I think uh, it should be a good choice to go for Aura 2. Very low resources. Farsia out levels the Archmage. That is something you rarely see. At least we got clap. So here we go again. <laughs> is this Northern Isles or what? We have an MK chasing a Farsia who does have a greater healing. And you don't really want to surround with riflemen against level 2 wolves, do you? So, Raider Shaman, as we said, TC with Aura first again. Things are calming down a little. We're cleaning each other side of the map. I like how Shao KK is just solo creeping, creates space with the Farsia. Heal Scroll and Invo go to Thunder. That was big. That was a big investment, but also a big pickup. You know, all orcs want that scroll against the clap. Is he investing mana for the last hit? Don't think so, right? What an interesting build. Oh, lightning shield! So KK! You just won a game with that! You know how much this hurts! Or can hurt. <laughs> tower? Okay. 50 pop tower push with 3 3 heroes and. This might actually work. Lightning shield again! There we go. They seems to be the day of lightning shields. Archmage is gonna hit like a truck. Two claws here, plus gloves of haste. He got the level three. No! Oh, that's a. Was that? Was he just busy somewhere else, or was that a little disconnect? I'm not sure, but that wolf gives him level three, and now thunder is pretty powerful. TC is not level 3 yet, we'll probably not get it. Tower is coming up, it's only an arcane, but... Alright. Lumberman now for guard towers, rifle caster protection continues, level 3 TC finally. 600 gold, is he waiting for the next round of items? Looks like it. Doesn't see an expansion. That should be a relief. 15 seconds for the invul. Uh, only the heal scroll. Can't risk a Stormbolt surround, I think, in that position. Doesn't want to. Shaka K needs quite some healing. Like, imagine this army on top of Clap. But he's moving away from the tower push. Unwilling to go for it. Are there a lot of Walker 3 pros? I'm new to Walker 3 esports. Where can I find the list of all active players? Uh, there's like not many pros who only play the game. There's a handful, I guess, but a lot of semi-pros. And you can find a wonderful list at walker3.info slash stats, I think it is. It is. You can find it in the menu. Um, that's an ELO ranking. So who's on top there is at the moment the best player in the world. And for tournament information, Liquipedia Warcraft section is the best. Cool push by Thunder. One burrow already gone. That opens up the floodgates here quite a bit. I mean, you don't really want to dive into that to expose yourself to three burrows, but oh, damage is damage. As so, okay, is this cheekily expanding? It's not bad. Yeah, and for tournament coverage, you are uh, on the very right stream here. We cover pretty much everything there is in the scene. Okay, here we go. Chaos are protected. But this is additional piercing damage. You don't 
want to have, really. But the Mountain King is the gatekeeper. Look at this. Everything that attacks him as a TP has to TP into his own base to force a counter TP. Just jumping on top of things is a massive uh, stomp, but also a massive clap. Farseer is safe, but so is the base. He took a priest with him and bought a lot of time with the TP for his expansion because Thunder is on the opposite side of the map and he's blocked in! Ooh, this is so much time. Can you escape now? Looks like it. Okay. Whoa, this is easy. 20 seconds? 20 seconds you kind of need for this orc? Uh, great hall. Would need another burrow, but that's about to finish as well. Shop control back in Shao KK's hands. Double heal scroll, invo potion. He saved both of these items. Has a mana potion, big healing, TP, super tanky TC. Then they're still both... Okay, now he put the claws on the Archmage. Necessary. Mountain King on the Archmage as well. We call Militia. Is it Ivory Tower time? No, right? Ivory towers are so out of fashion. <clears throat> Haven't seen them in a while. Do we want to take this fight in the open space? Not really. But there's also a big militia train. Six of them. Level 2 Brilliant Aura is wonderful. And again, this push is pretty much abandoned. Or at least postponed, as he sees the peons moving south. And this expansion is, of course, way less protected than the main base is. But where's KK's army? All over the place, I would say. Might be smart to TP out. But we have a little bit of extra movement speed thanks to the Endurance Aura. Trying to find a choke, but again, I don't think this is a great position. He's aiming for the Archmage. Oh, he realized he has no TP. He's checking the inventory once again. Invo post on the Archmage for now. But this might happen one or two times more. Invo post on the TC, absolutely necessary. Switching targets now onto the army. Onto the Mountain King. He has to get out there, doesn't he? Stomp on the Mountain King. He can't use the item if he gets it. Stomp, clap, boom, big milk cow gone. Can he stay in that fight for a chain lightning on that Mountain King? Is it even enough? I kind of doubt it. KK is losing absolutely everything. If he just TPs out, I think the game is his to take, but he doesn't. He's getting greedy and he's losing. Oh my god, he's losing so much. And pickaxe push into the peon line. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? The day of throws here? Can't really do much in the base against two arcanes. He just wants to buy some time. Blizzard! Nice! 1 1 1 build? Yeah! So he saves the resources for term of retraining for level 1 Blizzard, which is always fine against Burrows. He's about to claw with this down. Step by step. Whoa, Clap is a powerful weapon. That Expo did not... If he just TPs to his Expo... We have a little bit of a base raise. Peasants kind of wiped out. Counters the TP. TC is back. Wait, did he lose all his peasants? No, he just saved them to the south. Oh, boy. These games are <laughs> so wild. <laughs> KK stays in this with 700 gold. Rebuilds the Great Hall. How confident is that? I mean, he's facing Clap 2, Aura 2. Lots of rifles still. Has a heal scroll. Two heal scrolls, mana potion, heal potion. Level 4 would actually be a big help. Yeah. 
Invis Shadow Priest for scouting, Invis Waterman for scouting. Wait, this is actually enough. What a cool play. We have a fight here, though. Two raiders, two ensnares. TC, do you want to reveal yourself with a stomp? Not yet. Raiders are enough. TC level 4. That's the stomp you want to take. He also has a chain lightning. And oh my god. The AoE on both sides. But one of the players has two heal scrolls. Archmage exposed again. Clap gets everything. But this time there's no invo potion here on this Archmage. He just wants to let it go. Lightning shield. Wonderful. Surround still sticks. Clap against everything. But can be countered by heal scrolls. KK has the invo potion. Popped it. Uh, or transferred it from the MK to the Archmage, but that exposes the Mountain King to a degree. He still has a potion, trying to fight out. Doesn't really work. Wolves close it again. Raider as well. Oh, in this! No way! The Lightning Shield isn't enough. How unfortunate! Can he save the hero? Perch, Stomp, both hit him. Can he block, though? I don't think so. Raiders shouldn't be there. Switches the targets to the army. Kind of wrecks it. Water Elemental has expired, so it's only the Shadow Priest. It's not enough damage, apparently. Raiders falling left, right, and center. Uh, not, not Raiders. Rifles are falling left, right, and center. Mana is a little low. MK revealed himself. We do have a stomp in a bit. 20 mana. That's not much. And new wolves as well. Cancel clarities. That would be the best. But we also have clap and stormbolt. Uses clap to get two targets here. <sighs> Little bit of healing. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy fight. Low supply fights. Mostly about heroes. And all of a sudden... So KK is in trouble. Has the potion. Could swap it. Clap again. Stomps. Nothing of value. Potion swap. Trade execution. And militia time is almost over. New wolves in a bit. Both are hanging on to a threat, but one of them is building an expansion. We have to check this one here. Oh, he needs to repair. Does he not? Raiders are coming. This might be the end. There's good mana, of course, on Thunder. Game on a knife's edge. A little bit of extra healing on that Mountain King. Two kills for KK here. Probably more. New headhunters coming in. But Ensnare is such a strong weapon with the additional movement speed. 26. He stopped repairing this. KK. Now you can out. Oh my god. He is out repairing the Shadow Priest damage. This was so close. But Thunder is still alive. Slobber. Knocked. And that's level 5. And this is not over. We got clap 3. This is not over. He needs heal scrolls. He needs all the heal scrolls in the world. He has double income. Shadow Priest getting killed. That gets him closer to his own level 5. Let the games continue, everybody. Has to rebuild the caster army. Oh my... Oh my god. And he's still stuck with rifle casters. No breakers. One mana potion. Surprisingly on the Archmage. Must swap it over. Please put the mana potion on the Archmage. Uh, on, on the Mountain King. Oh, oh! Clap doesn't hit too much. That could have been worse. Speed scroll into the casters. Wants to prevent the dispel. Lightning shield also not the greatest. Got dispelled early. Chain lightning follow, which is a lot stronger now on level 4. This will also onto the wolves, but Thunder, he has one heal scroll. Oh, Farseer! Can he pop the potion? No, he can't! So the TC is on his own. Maybe a tavern revive. He has 800 gold, but no lumber. So he's relying on that level 3 here. Might force a stomp into units, then the potion. Next stomp. Is he going for the units? Really? Does that work? He's blocking the Mountain King again. Trying to clap his way free once more. Boom, stomp. And that's the savior, the human savior gone. He can't fight without clap. There's no way. 
Level 5 Archmage got a lot of experience, but same goes for the TC. Gets even more with that dispel here on the Water Elemental. Shouldn't really summon them anymore at some point. Stomp onto three units with Purge. There's no mana potion anymore. TC one man army. If he gets a little more experience, he's level six and he can't die anymore. Is he just killing this Archmage? Can he just right click this Archmage with Purge? Oh no! What a blunder. And now he's level six and that's the end. Thunder gets too old. Revenge for the winner bracket quarterfinal on Monday where the result was the opposite over extensions everywhere a brutal day for thunder after playing so well on monday getting zero four tier two day and with that two chinese orcs make it into the round of eight and then the sao kk and fly and i think there's a very decent shot for linguagua to making it as well that was just pure chaos <laughs> so all the qualified players we know are orcs, right? We got Fly, we got Shao KK, we got Soen. Oh, PCG won against 15 Sway, which is a big surprise, actually. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> fun game. Very, very fun game. Remo would probably rip all his remaining hair out. But yeah, sometimes you're just overwhelmed, sometimes it's just chaos, and Shao KK was certainly thriving in the chaos. Really cool. Um, that's it for the first day. The first part of the day. There was the WGL Open qualifier. We continue tomorrow with the WGL Pro qualifier, where the best of the Asian scenes are participating. We got the following groups. Uh, Remo has to pick the group, so I'm not in charge tomorrow. I'm off. I'm here for the Open division. We got Moon in a group with Fast, Focus, and Chemico. Promising Korean group. We got Law Light, Foggy, Shao Kai, and WFZ. Very cool Night Elf Undead group. Could be a rematch of WGL here. Lin Ice Orc, Colorful Mikael, and Sock Fortitude Euro TH. Uh, 1 to 0 TH. I think this is the group to go for, especially 1 to 0 TH in a first round match is something we can't really miss. And Remo is going to be there for you tomorrow, starting at 1 p.m. Remo and I are back together in German for the next play day at ESL Meisterschaft. It is play day 6B for in the 8,000 euro tournament. We got quite interesting games. We got Long Walk versus Francis. We got Drunken versus Philly Warrior. And we got the match between the two leading players in the ranking. That is X Lord versus Juan in a very sweet best of three Undead Mirror. That's going to start at 7.15. And that's it for this part of the day. Thank you very much for tuning in. You were a lovely audience talking a lot about beer. Uh, so hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. See ya in four hours. Bye-bye.